All right. Hello, Gemini. We are back. It's Camila Rose, and we are doing your second portion of your 2024 readings. If you haven't checked up your general quarterly predictions, then go ahead and go look at the video before this. It's just been posted. It was quite a ride, a little intense, but hopefully... The love and money portion will be a little bit of a smoother ride. So we're going to start off with our singles. And we're going to see what's going on with singles. Ooh, love this for you. Oh, there are your cards from earlier, from your um, general reading. So singles. This time we've got justice upright. We've got the lovers upright. Love that for you. So if you've been putting in the work, Gemini's, you might also be finding yourself, oh, this is you also. Oh my goodness. I didn't even realize that when I was talking about your video for the general, that like the lovers is you, that's your card. So you showed up right at the end of your reading to that justice in reverse. <laughs> um, but in this case, if you've been putting in the work and you might be um, talking to a Libra or interested in a Libra, goodness, this is intense for you. Um, all major arcana so far, then there might be a Libra showing up for you. Uh, and you might be like, all right, you know, hey, this is this is what's going on here. Um, but if you've been putting in the work and you've been talking and having some conversations, there may be some forward movement going on here. This might be something that makes you feel very nice and balanced, uh, much more in touch with yourself. Ooh, and it might be something that has come up in allowing you to move forward from a unhealthy situation. Now, this could also indicate that justice needs to be served. And that's what's going on in your relationships right now. What's happening in your love life is that justice needs to be served. You need to get back into balance. And that comes from getting back in touch. Oh my God, I keep forgetting about this card. Um, and that comes from you getting in touch and being really honest with yourself about what's going on. That comes from getting back into your energy. That comes from following your own path, getting again, like I said, getting back in touch with who you are, that high priestess energy of like going within and balancing, going behind the curtain, getting in touch with your unconscious and what those drives are, and then leaving an unhealthy situation, especially if it is out of balance. Bringing justice to the situation might be you leaving an unhealthy situation or fully being in your own space. We got a king of cups here. Here, um, you might be leaving an un unbalanced situation to head towards the King of Cups, or the King of Cups might have been the catalyst or the person that you were heading out of. Let's get your outcome cards. Okay, we have an Ace of Wands. Yeah, there's probably something new coming in for you. Um, that's very exciting. You're very attracted to this energy. Um, you want to kind of take the energy by the just take it a run. Um, and the Hermit card, you're still doing some self-exploration. So while you might be out here having a good time and things like that, there might be heading towards a King of Cups energy. You are still needing to spend some time on your own and really like really gain some wisdom from the situation that you had to leave or that you had to let go of. Um, so justice, uh, single Gemini's, there might be some partnership coming in for you, especially with the lovers here, but it's definitely a lot of healing for you. And there's a lot of healing that's needed in order for you to be able to fully move over, move on and move forward. Um, Hermit card, anything else? Yeah, I don't think you're accepting any new offers that are coming in this, uh, this year, just going to be honest with you. Um, you might be of interest. You might have interest in some individuals. You might have some connections that you're interested in exploring. I don't know though, if you're ready, if you're interested or fully moving forward with anybody, uh, it seems like this self exploration really drives you to like take the wisdom of like what didn't work out and to spend some time on your own kind of figuring things out. So perhaps next year you'll be in a better space and you'll have done this healing throughout the years. It can really get you in a, in a position where you're open to the partnership with this King of Cups or whoever came in with this Ace of Wands. Let me actually, I'm like, let me not take, we did get that Five of Swords. You're a little in your head, um, but that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense with your general reading. So couples, 2024, Gemini couples, Gemini couples, what's going on with you? Page of Wands. All right. So there may be a renewal in your relationship. You may be feeling like, all right, like the spark is back. I'm excited. I'm enjoying this energy together. I love that for you. Two more, please. Oh, yeah, that's good energy. 
good energy for the couples. Um, there may have been some dreams you all have had that you've been trying to manifest, that you've been trying to turn into reality. You've had a lot of conversations. You're really excited about them. Those are kind of coming to fruition. Ooh, good energy for the couples. Good energy for couples. Ten of cups, too. You're feeling really happy. These may be um, dreams that you've had related to expanding your family or dreams that you've had related to just finding happiness and joy in your family. Uh, this may be related to expanding your family, though. You do have the Empress, which is all about fertility. So, like, you may have decided to go ahead and move forward with expanding your family, with growing your family. You may be deciding to move um, or move into a bigger home, move into something that's a little bit more established for you all, something that will allow for more growth and expansion for you as a couple um it's just really good energy like this is hopes and dreams coming through coming true like things you've always wanted things you've always desired um they may be taking their time though uh this energy right here the the eight of wands is very quick energy so like if there's something you've been wanting to do especially if it's an idea that you've been wanting to do you like you make the choice you move forward you see that energy starting to move pretty quickly it is the hopes and dreams but they're with the hangman it's just saying that their hangman is either like changing your perspective on things or a sacrifice that needs to be made in order to get what you want or things slowing down as you take time to like review them and just let things happen as they go it's really interesting to get a hangman and then like which is which is a uh, like in, with the Knight of Wands, because everything else is indicating this is moving really quickly. This is moving really quickly, and there's a lot of energy behind it. The Hangman, though, it's kind of like a little bump, bump, but then it's like Knight of Wands, which is like, no, like push forward, let's go. Like it seems though that like it's a, it might be a little bit of ungrounded energy, is what it is. Is that like y'all are so caught up in the hype and the movement of it that you're like not necessarily thinking through everything as much as you could be. You've got like almost every wand here, couples. Woo. Okay. So I don't think I have more space for all of that. So we'll just, since we have the space up here, we'll move these over and put these up here. Okay. Let's, let's take a look at these. We got the nine. Yeah. So like I was mentioned where I was like, maybe it's just that you're just not thinking things through. You're just moving really quickly. There is no thought really going on here. It's just action and movement and passion. And like, oh my gosh, our dreams are coming true. We're so excited, right? And then like, it's like, maybe take a second to pause thinking. It's like, no, go, 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 let's go. And then we get this nine of, um, nine of wands. So like, yay, it worked. <laughs> it worked. You built your castle. You built your empire. You, 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 you did it. You manifested it. Look at how tired this person is. That, that's what that is. Like, ooh, maybe you did expand, you know, ooh, now you're not sleeping because you got a baby or a dog or something going on. You got a new project y'all are working on. You got a new house you're building. So you're a little stressed out, but you're building your kingdom. It did work. And now it's like, dang, what's next? That's why I'm like, I think it's wise to slow down just a little bit, just a little bit. Take your time just a little bit, because now you're like, dang, what's next? Like, I got the world in my hands, which when we think about our the original reading, the general reading, the world was upside down when you first started. And maybe this is your cycle. Maybe this is how you end up in this cycle is you get to this point where it's like, dang, I did all of this and it was wonderful. I'm so happy. I'm so excited. And then you're like, man, okay, what do I do next? Where do I go next? What's the next steps? And then we have the magician that's saying that like everything with, that you need, everything that you're looking for, you already have. It's already within you. You don't need to go outside of yourself, which is what a lot of this is, is a lot of this is saying that like in order for you to be happy and to get your dreams and to get your wishes and to get what you desire, it's all outside. It's all out there. You know, it's pushing all that energy to create and to grow and to do more and to be more. And it's all outside of you. And this magician is really indicating that like for your next steps, there's nothing more you need to do out there. You can focus on in here. And all of your drives, all of your readings are all pointing towards it's time to go within Gemini. At the end of this year, you're going to find yourself slowing down and going within and doing a lot of internal work. But for my couples, this is a great year for you. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy the enjoy the manifestations. Enjoy the growth. Enjoy the happiness. Yes, you'll be a little stressed out about it. Yes, you'll probably be really tired towards the end of the year and excited to slow down anyway. Um, but it's going to be a, a really good space for growth. So I'm happy for you. Yay! Go Gemini couples. 
And for Gemini singles, if you if this is a partnership that feels a little bit more balanced, this King of Cups, you know, someone who can help you with your emotions, who can sit with your emotions, who understands and wants to have that conversation with you that you are attracted to, just take your time. Just take your time and slow down. You don't have to immediately move into a partnership. You can get to know them and allow that space to be open so that you can, you can at some point when you're ready, move into a partnership with them. But it doesn't mean that you have to spend this year alone. Like we said, the King of Cups is there. We have Gemini energy literally there. We have Libra energy there. We have a lot of potential there. But there's also this deep desire you have and deep drive that's saying that like you got to do some self-exploration and get things a little bit more back into balance, okay? All right, let's look at the monies. All right, what's Gemini's money story for 2024? Gemini's money story for 2024. What's the money, honey, for 2024 for my lovely, beautiful Gemini's? What's Gemini's money story? Let's talk to me about the money. Oh, yeah. Your general reading was about your money. <laughs> it was about the money, honey. How did this how did this happen? Okay. Well. <sighs> yeah, because you're you need to make a decision because you feel like the seeds you planted haven't come to fruition. So maybe you got a degree or maybe you worked at a job or maybe you planted some seeds. You did something, you invested in something and you feel like it didn't come to fruition in the way you wanted to. You're definitely not feeling your queen of pentacles energy like, dang, I'm a boss, you know, whatever I get, I want. So you're trying to make a decision. Yeah, yeah. That reading, that general reading was definitely a money energy. It was definitely talking about some finances, your material. This can also be about the, the body. There may be some things going on with you health wise. Um, so be mindful of that. Be mindful of if there's some maybe health concerns that you have. Um, but it's looking like you're making a decision, trying to be clever, trying to be mindful, trying to get out of this space, trying to be a little bit more happier, finding some space to enjoy yourself, to enjoy what you do, to enjoy how you make money. King of Swords, there's either like an individual that is uh, pretty logical, like not like like again we're heading into that like the the key for you in 2024 is to be really realistic be really realistic be very logical be like look at your heart and your mind and balance those things out together but like don't go in there off of a fantasy like look at what's really going on learn your lessons from your past if you want enjoyment and you want something that you want a career that you enjoy you want a way that you make money that is fun for you like what does that actually look like not just like a i just want to party all the time okay well do you want to work at a bar or a club or something like what's the reality of what that would look like you're finally going to get out of your freaking head I love that for you. And it seems like you're pushed out. Remember, this is giving... Okay, so this is this is your first quarter. This was your main card for your first quarter. So this is the beginning of the year. Your money stuff and all this stuff trying to figure out where you're going starts out at the beginning of the year. It's your first move, January 1st, okay? January, February, March. You're, you're going... This is where it starts. Um, this was your second quarter. Um, so this is when we kind of maybe get into a little bit of that dishonesty that came up and what that means, what that looks like, how you're dealing with it. And then this one over here, even with this King of Swords with that Emperor in reverse and this Five of Swords over here, that's your third quarter showing up for you right now. And so I actually think I'm going to move these over because I do want to be able to pull an outcome card. So we're looking at there being some, um, you needing to make a choice. You needing to get out of your head, which I think you do. It looks like you do. It looks like once you take a more logical route, whether that's because someone comes in and they're very logical and they're very cold and they're very like, hey, figure your stuff out, um, or whether you decide to move more into that energy of like, all right, I gotta, I, I gotta heart and mind. Okay, we gotta get on board here. You get out of that self-imposed prison. Like your thoughts calm down enough. You get calm enough to make a decision. And it does bring a little bit of conflict, but it's something that you're excited about. There's a move that you need to make. Let's get a clarifier for this. Five. 
Yeah, there's a move that you need to make. If you want to get into the field you want to be in, that's going to excite you, that you're going to want to like move forward into. And maybe maybe the thing is, is that it's a field that has a lot of competition in it. Maybe that's why you never made a move for it because you felt like it was oversaturated. But like, it's the move to make. Once you like stand up and go for it and fight for it, it's the move to make money starts running in that like that's the route to take for you that's where you can make an investment like they're not even focused on the money they're focused on like the forward movement let's get an outcome what's your outcome Ooh, a lot of responsibilities there's that emperor card there's that emperor card from your um fourth quarter and the ten of wands from your fourth from your third quarter and this is that 10 from basically that energy of the fourth quarter. Yeah, like it's going to be a lot of responsibilities that you're picking up. I think you're just doing too much, but like that's a Gemini thing. You do need that structure and that balance. I love that this is coming out in um, upright this time instead of in reverse like it was the last time. Because it's really saying that like you do need that structure and that balance and you need to figure out this system for you. Like you need to take on, you had the queen of swords and your general, you're in the king of swords now. Like you either have this person coming in and like they're cold and strict um, or like you need to step into this energy. You need to create a system. Like you're taking on too many responsibilities to try to get here and get out of this space. And again, this may be that story that we already talked about in your general. It's not necessarily showing up here in your money story here, but like I have the awareness of it from your general reading to know that you have some shadow work that needs to be done around relationship to your father and your mother, father and mother wounds, your idea of what it means to be successful, what it means to be taken care of and nurtured and supported like you got to do some work related to that because that's what causes you to pick up all these responsibilities to end up in these situations where either you need a lot of structure or like um you're needing to get into a system get into a program things like that you got to take that on and you feel like you have to do all of this work yourself instead of letting like the people who are in your life support you now yes you take on a lot of responsibility but you understand it you understood it when you took on the role that you did here to move forward that you fought so hard for and yes you come in and maybe there's someone very strict that's your boss or it's you who turns into the emperor and you're like no it has to be like this like i'm sergeant i'm in control i'm i'm in charge this is the things that we need to be doing and it leads you to a lot of more ha to a lot of happiness but it's it's taking that charge it's taking charge yourself instead of having an external force do so for you so that's your money story step into your power put down these dang swords make a decision go with what you with like what's going to bring you joy but what also makes a lot of sense with skills you already have and fight for it don't be afraid to fight for it yes it's a lot of work yes you're gonna have to like maybe let go of some of the fun fancy free things that you have going on here that like maybe get you excited about this to begin with but it leads you towards the happiness that you want long term okay so all right that's it for your love and your money readings gemini all right if you would like support in this I have services down below. I do coaching. I do the breath work. I do the meditation. You got to quiet your mind. You got to get out of your head. I'm here for you to do that. That's in the description below. Um, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you want to see Jim and I be added to the regular monthly rotation, hit that like button, comment down below, and I will add y'all to my monthly readings because y'all got a lot going on. And I have no problem doing readings for Jim and I's and adding y'all to the monthly rotation. So I love you. Have a great one. Bye.